How powerful is America's Harpoon Missile? The Harpoon RGM-84, UGM-84, AGM-84 is a US-designed subsonic anti-ship cruise missile that's been in service since 1977. Numerous variants have been produced since its inception, including air, ship, and sub-launch versions. The Harpoon has also undergone multiple upgrades to improve its range and guidance. Variants of the Harpoon have been exported to 32 countries. The regular Harpoon uses active radar homing and flies just above the water to evade defenses. The missile can be launched from fixed-wing aircraft, the AGM-84, without the solid-fuel rocket booster, Surface ships, the RGM-84, fitted with a solid fuel rocket booster that detaches when expended to allow the missile's main turbojet to maintain flight. Submarines, the UGM-84, fitted with a solid fuel rocket booster and encapsulated in a container to enable submerged launch through a torpedo tube. Coastal defense batteries, from which it would be fired with a solid fuel rocket booster. In 1965, the U.S. Navy began developing an anti-ship missile designed to target surfaced submarines. Because the missile would target whales, naval slang for submarines, the missile was designated the Harpoon. Following the sinking of the Israeli destroyer Eilat in 1967 by Soviet-made Styx anti-ship cruise missiles, the U.S. Navy, recognizing a widening gap in their capabilities, contracted McConnell Douglas to begin the Harpoon missile program. By 1977, the Navy had deployed the Harpoon as its basic anti-ship missile for fleet-wide use. An air-launched variant followed soon after, first equipped on the Navy's P-3 Orion in 1979 and later on the F-A-18 Hornet and B-52H Bomber, among other aircraft. In late 2010, plans for an updated U.S. Navy version of the Harpoon Block II began to formalize. The Harpoon Block II Plus provides a rapid capability enhancement for the Navy that includes a new GPS guidance kit, reliability, and survivability of the weapon, a new data link interface that enables in-flight updates, improved target selectivity, an abort option, and enhanced resistance to electronic countermeasures. When fielded to the fleet in the fourth quarter of fiscal year 2017, Harpoon Block II joins the Joint Standoff Weapon C-1 as the Navy's only two air-to-ground network-enabled weapons. Since its introduction in 1977, the Harpoon has received multiple upgrades to its hardware and software, resulting in many variants. For clarity, in 1973, the Navy determined the following designations for the Harpoon family. A equals air launched, R equals surface ship launched, U equals underwater launched, G equals surface attack, and M equals guided missile. Harpoon Block 1A Because the air-launched variant, AGM-84A, does not have a jettisonable solid propellant booster, it is shorter and lighter than its surface and underwater launched cousins. Harpoon Block 1B Introduced in 1982, this variant presents only slight changes to the flight profile and software of the Block 1A. Rather than performing a pop-up maneuver, Block 1B missiles C-skim toward the target in the terminal phase of flight. Additionally, Block 1B features improved electronic countermeasures to increase targeting precision. Harpoon Block 1C Introduced in 1985, the Block 1C differs from previous iterations in its flight path, guidance, and targeting technology. Whereas Block 1B and 1A could perform either a low apogee pop-up trajectory or a C-skimming approach in its terminal phase, the Block 1C can perform both. In addition to improved electronic counter-countermeasures performance, Block 1C has a relatively higher altitude in the first part of its flight path to avoid friendly ships and other land masses that may be in the missile's path. A change in the type of fuel used in the missile increased its range to 124 kilometers. Harpoon Block 1D 
Introduced in 1991, the Block 1D model improved the range of the missile to 240 kilometers by increasing its length to 5.3 meters. The guidance system was changed to allow for earlier descent to sea skimming altitude and added re-attack capability in the event a target was lost. However, the model was terminated in 2003 because its length limited the types of launchers capable of firing the missile. Harpoon Block 1E the SLAM standoff land attack missile uses the Harpoon airframe, warhead, and engine, but largely departs from its predecessors. An air-launched land attack missile, the addition of the Global Positioning System receiver, a walleye infrared optical guidance system, and a Maverick data link system resulted in a significantly more precise weapon. Harpoon Block 1G the Block 1G was developed for vessels equipped with lightweight launchers that were too small for the longer RGM-84F. In other words, the Block 1G takes all the upgrades in the Block 1D model, besides the lengthened fuel tank, and places them in the shorter Block 1C model, entering service in 1999. Harpoon Block 1H The SLAM ER Extended Response first entered service in 1999. The system features an improved IIR seeker, a titanium warhead for greater penetration, and added wings inspired by the RGM UGM 109 Tomahawk to expand the missile's range to 280 kilometers. The missile uses inertial navigation and GPS for mid course guidance before switching to its IIR seeker in the terminal phase. Harpoon Block 2. First delivered to the U.S. Navy in 2009, the Block 2 combines the inertial measuring unit and software from the Joint Direct Attack Munition and the SLAM ER's integrated inertial GPS guidance. These improvements to the missile's guidance technology allow it to perform in littoral waters. Additionally, the guidance system allows for over-the-horizon targeting via helicopter, enabling targeting of concealed or cluttered targets beyond the radar's line of sight. The missile carries a 224-kilogram warhead and has a circular error probable of 10 to 13 meters. Harpoon Block 2 ER Originally introduced in 2015 by Boeing as the Harpoon Next Generation, the Block 2 plus extended range aims to increase the Block 2's unclassified range of 124 kilometers. To do so, the missile will use a lighter yet more lethal warhead and an improved turbojet engine that would double the missile's range to 248 kilometers. In January 2017, Boeing's director of cruise missile systems said the Block 2 Plus will be making its final operational test shots that year with initial operation capability planned for mid-year. Operational History the Harpoon has been used in combat many times over its nearly five decades in service. In March 1986, the U.S. Navy used Harpoon missiles against Libyan forces in the Gulf of Sidra. After U.S. Navy aircraft were attacked by four to six surface-to-air missiles, the USS Yorktown DDG-48 fired two Harpoon anti-ship missiles and several other missiles from an A-6 attack aircraft at two Libyan patrol boats. One of the ships was left burning, dead in the water, while the other was severely damaged. On April 18, 1988, the United States sank several Iranian vessels using harpoons during Operation Praying Mantis. After issuing four separate warnings to the Iranian missile boat Joshin to cease approaching U.S. warships, the USS Wainwright engaged the vessel. The Iranian Joshin launched its own harpoon missile at the Wainwright, but was thwarted by Wainwright's chafe and electronic countermeasures. In response, the Wainwright fired six standard missiles, SM-1s, and one harpoon missile. The Joshin was significantly damaged by the attack and was fully sunk by the Wainwright's close-range guns. Another vessel, the Iranian frigate Sahand, launched shoulder-fired surface-to-air missiles at U.S. aircraft, the aircraft evaded the missiles and responded by firing two Harpoon missiles, which both found their target. A U.S. frigate, the USS Strauss, also targeted and hit the Sahand with a Harpoon missile, sinking it. 